Your Storm Shield forecast, only on Fox 47 News. Well, it was nice to see the sun again today. It sure was, yeah, absolutely. Mm. We're going to have more of it tomorrow. And not only that, but you like what the temperatures we're at today, you're really going to like where we're headed for tomorrow. It's going to be real, real nice out there. Right now, it's not too bad. In fact, 38 degrees, that's a little bit chilly, but not for this time of year. That's just a few degrees shy of what our average high is, which is right around 40 degrees this time in March. Now, the satellite and radar right now across the area just shows a few areas of some thin cloud cover, but really not a whole lot of activity around the area tonight. In fact, temperatures across the region generally in the upper 30s, Lansing's at 39, Jackson 38, 38 degrees in Charlotte as well, and 36 in Mason. Now, here's the change over the past 24 hours. Lansing looking at a change on the plus side, about 11 degrees, 7 through Mason and Jackson, about 10 along the I-69 corridor running down through Charlotte our lot and Marshall and Coldwater as well. Now the winds, they've generally been out of the south, if not south, southwest, anywhere from about 10 to 15 miles per hour today. A lot of them still right around that value, so it is feeling a little bit chillier now that the sun's been down for a while. And we've got temps that have fallen into the 30s, but all this wind's going to do tomorrow is continue to bring up warmth out of the south, and that's really going to help us warm up in an even bigger way tomorrow than we did today. Now the satellite and radar wider view here is showing a couple areas of some snow showers off in Ontario, but that's well to the north and east of us. We look over towards the plains, rest of the upper Midwest. We've got mostly clear conditions, if not a few thin cloud cover spots, but certainly no precipitation. Air is very dry out over that way, and it's going to feel real comfortable as that moves into our area tomorrow. In future track, as we time this out moving forward again, you see a mostly clear sky into tomorrow morning as hours. Maybe we see a few clouds throughout the day, but if we do, it'll be fairly thin cloud cover across the area. Certainly going to see a lot of that sun shine once again and this carries all the way through the evening where we have the clearer skies across the area. So tonight we're at 33 degrees overnight, mainly clear conditions. We do stay mild as well. Wind continues to pump out of the south southwest and that keeps us in those low to middle 30s overnight. Now tomorrow for the planner, you notice we're already in the 40s by 10. We're almost to 50 by noon and then we just soar right on up and into those upper 50s as we head into the later portions of the day. A mostly sunny sky and certainly a beautiful one out there. Now I've got us at 59 degrees. That's very, very warm, almost 20 degrees above average. Mostly sunny skies, warm and breezy as well. Again, that wind, Note it's out of the south southwest 15 to 25 miles per hour, occasional gusts higher than that as well. So it will be a little bit breezy, but certainly warm out there. And we do want to remind you that daylight saving time begins tonight. We will spring forward, and that means that at 2 a.m. tonight, we will turn our clocks ahead to 3 a.m. So while we lose an hour of sleep, so to speak, that means that our sun will rise an hour later but we'll have the sunset occur later as well to go down after 730 tomorrow and it'll certainly be welcome to have more light later in the day. Now we're still mild on Monday at about 58. We have some rain arriving late sticks around early Tuesday, but we're still at 50 degrees. Now we do have a little bit of snow in the forecast, but before you get too worried about that Wednesday morning, that's going to transition to rain in the afternoon. And even if we do see a few flakes, none of it is going to stick around here. And we're right back into the 50s with the mild air returning headed towards next weekend. But tomorrow, I really want to wow. stress how lovely a day that's going to so be. Excited. I'm not surprised if a couple folks do get into that 60 degree territory there. It's going to be a wow. really, really 60 nice 60 degrees one. in March. I yeah. like it. You're going to want to take advantage. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You might lose an hour of sleep, but maybe you can sleep outside or something. Yeah, right. Exactly. Enjoy, enjoy the, the warmth, weather. right? For sure. Exactly. For sure. All right. Thanks so much, Justin.